Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the fifth episode of Stardust Telepath. Last episode was quite exciting because we had our bottle rocket competition and we lost, I think, but it's, it's mostly just because Matataki is a cheater. But uh, the good news is that that Umika's plea to her did work. You know, we, we got Matataki going to school. We She's probably going to help us with our rockets and stuff. And she even got to try on the goggles. So Umika, at a certain point, you know, when like she had the goggles on and you, I think you was kind of messing with them, her face was the face of like peak happiness. Just all of her life goals had been achieved. You know, that's that's, that's the kind of look that it was like, you know, not literally. Like obviously there's still things we got to do. But um, yeah, the very first shot we have of this episode is uh, a character, you know, mad. Like we got the sideways triangle eyes and all that so clearly yelling at somebody i'm gonna go on a limb here and assume it's matataki <laughs> you know just just gonna throw it out there but uh but yeah just uh, just kind of want to watch the episode so I, I think i'll do that as always if you enjoyed the video please click the like button and support me on patreon for access to the picture and picture version and let us begin in three two one play <laughs> why did i tell you Apparently she can. <laughs> Ooh, so that's how you talk to a teacher. Oh, that's, I feel like that's not an endorsement of this. <laughs> yeah, again, that's not how you talk to a teacher. Oh, oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Wow, what a good teacher. What a great teacher. <laughs> yeah, I really was expecting the hug. That really caught me off guard. <laughs> Especially because we just went from ye from yelling to that. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the day, she'd just be glad she came. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a lot to throw at us in like 30 seconds. But it's all good. <laughs> But yeah, she very much was talking like a delinquent there, and make no mistake. But she's in school, that's the first step. Towards rehabilitation to an honor student. Teacher never hugged me for coming to school, I'll tell you that. Stardust Telepath, Hoshizuku Telepath. Okay, Endless Dreamer. Well, use animation budget there. It's, I, I do, I kind of do as well. And it was great. We're all happy to have her here. I can't decide if I want to call her Matataki or Raimon. But, but, yeah, that. Because both the names I like in different ways. Raimon just sounds cool. Especially I just saw the kanji it's written with. You know, Lightning Gate. But Matataki just fun to say. Kakaraji. It'll always be a treat to, to listen to Japanese people. Try to pronounce English with their Japanese accent. Wrong subject. Come on, Matataki. 
And to be clear, I'm sure Japanese people find it amusing when I try to speak Japanese as well. It goes both ways. <laughs> Don't choke, please. Are you advertising to me, girl? On her knees, make an offering to our new goddess. <laughs> uh, we're just we're just glad to have you. Please don't leave. <laughs> she's getting called out now. I hope she's referring to the hair. She is such a good girl. Just please don't stop coming to school again. I'll do whatever I have to. <laughs> She's not wrong. Hey, school settings are pretty scary, man. <laughs> yeah, at least she showed up. There's more than you did. Get into the meat of it. Yeah, she goes at her own pace. <laughs> I would love to step on you. Isn't that always a problem? And uh, nothing. Yeah. I was about to say, like, I don't think we're in any club. Yeah, we're a privately funded uh, organization. Without any official ties to the school. Thank you. Ten. Jeez. Jesus. This got real real quick. <laughs> wow, just <laughs> no unnecessary words in that sense. Now we're a real anime right now. <laughs> we need a club advisor, you're gonna be hit. <laughs> like, we're definitely gonna vote for to be in our club advisor, make no mistake. Dream Rocket Club. Wasn't the title Endless Dream? So, yeah, it tracks. <laughs> Think you can want to use Wide Out? I should get more than one on my application. In case you're screwing up. I'm so glad the teacher's actually getting screen time. We have big ambitions, Sensei. <laughs> yeah, you know those generic, no real purpose clubs that are often the focus of anime. Yeah, we're serious about this since they like we're working on the funding still, but oh my god. I, guys, please stop. I can't I can't do this. I need to just pick one. I'm I'm going back to that later. What time was that? About uh, eight minutes. Amy Hana, thank you for giving me a name. I like her. Okay. Thank you, Sensei.
I mean, Dream Rocket, not a bad name. <laughs> but I'm sure we could come up with something better. Let's call it Yuri Rocket. See, in her back is almost like a horror, horror shot. I, I, I mean, yeah. Things have definitely improved for her life-wise since episode one, for sure. <laughs> she really is a lot more nice than she lets on. <laughs> okay. We have our president. I mean, it makes sense. that She's the reason why this is all happening. <laughs> And no one's gonna, you know, there's not gonna be any kind of arguments here, like. <laughs> she has the audacity to ask why. <laughs> yeah, Bucho. <laughs> yeah, all sorts, of, all sorts of surprises for her. We have a true ally with her. It must be nice to have a teacher that's like 100% on your, on your side. She's probably right. <laughs> Yeah, you can't forget. She didn't look it over, did she? <laughs> oh, that's messed up. A two-day study camp. There you You know, if you actually read the paper, maybe you would have been prepared for this. And that's your fault. Literally, 100% your fault. Oh, damn. It is a nice bike. It's because you are... They're called cute girls doing cute things anime characters. Wearing goggles. <laughs> See? Wearing goggles. Guru Guru? Is she not feeling well? <laughs> yeah, she's not the most athletic type. <laughs> Do your best, Umika. Fight to. My God. Is that a stack of papers or a a column to hold up the building? <laughs> I think you have to go on trips on any on any school. <laughs> As it should be. That way those two get to be on the same group. <laughs> That's a lot of subjects back there. We lost her that early. Okay. <sighs> K 
Nice to meet you, Kakemi. Nice to meet you, Kakemi. Uh, Mimi Kai, let's not lose you. Let's not lose you. I'd help you, you, but that's too small to read. Oh no. Uh, words. How how do I words? Uh, you, please speak for me. Okay, we have glow. <laughs> We have glowing hand holding. That should make you feel better. You got this, Umika. So close, yet so far away. Well, I mean, she did it. She, she she said words in front of everyone. <laughs> oh no! Whenever she's smiling, you know it's a bad thing, and it is. She's trying to steal food, <laughs> but more importantly, Numika and you. I was a little late to notice that part. Yeah, you can tell by these shots we are, we're having a lot of fun. I wish they were more animated though. You know, like we actually get to see those those scenes in detail, but oh well. I should hope so. Once you have friends, this sort of thing's a lot better, yeah. So I've heard, I, I, I assume. That really was the start of everything, wasn't it? No, no. You were literally written as president on the application. Does she need some help? We should probably go help her out. <laughs> that would be quite the twist. They don't capture me, I'm one of you. There's a women's restroom. Seems dark and quiet, though. She's not in there, I take it. But what is she doing, then? Sneaking food, maybe? That pretty starry sky. Oh, there she is. It's kind of spacing out. That's our tempo and all right. Is she communicating? <laughs> Look at her light up. I more to the point. What are you doing out here? I was I was looking for you. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed it. I feel like there's always the amount of stars you just can't always see them. Probably that one over there. Although it could be that one. It does look a little bit you-ish.
Yeah, but there's no place like home. Like Earth, it's not bad. I mean, it's getting worse every year, but overall, it's not bad. So, but you, you always want to go back home, yeah. Yeah, we need to get our fundraisers going to get those funds. There we go. A promise with the starry sky as our backdrop. Yeah, let's continue the hand holding. No need to let go. We're gonna do some forehead action. We're gonna do some forehead action. It's been too long. Yeah, as they both part their hair to expose their foreheads to each other before we touch. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We are we're being <laughs> we're being seen. This is this is embarrassing. It's it's all the rage amongst modern lesbians. You should try it. Oh, snacks. I knew he brought you along for a reason. <laughs> oh, Nate, Chunk can be fine, I swear. <laughs> As expected of our delinquent. Yeah, every time she has that. Oh, wow. And every time she has a look on her face, you know she's doing something bad. Don't set your hair on fire. Yeah, every episode she's making more and more progress. <clears throat> Do not hold. I do enjoy how clingy she is. Okay, wow, we're not done. We're doing more, more. Always more. We always need more. <laughs> God damn it, that looks so intimate. And then, yeah, roll credits. That actually looked more romantic than the last, the last before I touch. Arguably. <laughs> that was our first shot of her. Oh no. What are we doing here? Are you about to commit a crime? Wait, what? <laughs> Just messing with Matataki. So you. T so you took. Kampai is easier to say, damn it. But uh, okay. Yeah. In in initiation. So. So, uh, yeah, that was the sixth 
fifth, fifth, fifth episode of uh, Stardust Tele- Telepathy. Telepath. There, there's no why there. But yeah, this episode, it's a good one. On the one hand, we get uh, kind of, yeah, integrate Matataki back into the class, which Sensei, uh, Emi Hara, I want to say her name was, uh, Sensei, she was just so happy to have her back, you know. She was obviously has to, you know, lecture her and all that, but she also just really happy to have her. Like, we had like a, like that wasn't just like a, like a small hug, that was like a hardcore arms wrapped around her, like almost a 90 degree bow sort of position from her like head like nuzzled into that chest like like damn I, I can't believe how happy she was to have Matataki back I mean I mean I get it like she's a great addition to the show but wow really really didn't ex- did not expect that like have we even really had much uh screen time from that teacher until now I feel like we haven't but <clears throat> like I know I'm sure she's been on screen here and there but I feel like we've had like way more for this episode than we've had before I feel like but yeah, I, I love her as a teacher. She's great. I have no complaints. She's just... she. I mean, she's going to be a club advisor, right? I can't remember if we brought that up or not, but, like, she definitely... Because you have to have a club advisor if you're going to be a club, so nobody else would possibly be her club advisor but her, so... But, yeah, I definitely do enjoy the dynamic between you and Matataki, right? Because if there's anyone that can handle Matataki, it is you, right? Like, she, she, and she definitely has fun with her, interacting with her, so... I definitely enjoy those interactions. I mean, you can pretty much interact with anyone. Like, like she has good chemistry with Matataki, Haruno, and Umika. Obviously, the the relationships are a little bit different on each one of those fronts. But, like, she gets along well with them, you know, even if they are different, if that makes sense. But, so she's that kind of person, that, that social butterfly. But, uh, how, how much was the bill again that she showed to Umika? Yeah, 10 billion yen. Ouch. Like, what is that in American currency? Like, uh, $100 million, roughly? Like, that's a lot of money. Like, we gotta really start... We gotta start the fundraising fundraisers now, right? Like, a daily thing. And we gotta figure out something something good. Something high profit, right? Like, if you wanted to, you could definitely make a doujinshi of this show that's all focused on uh, fundraising that money. But, uh, but yeah, eventually, yeah, Matsuzaki eventually realized there's nothing official here. We're not a real club. We're just girls having fun, right? But she wanted to make it official, you know, and we can get, we can get a little bit of funding as a result of that, too. So, we got the application. We may not be called Dream Rocket going forward, but... Yeah, some may have club activities, rocket assembly, de- demonstrations, research, club accomplishments, optional, launched bottle rockets, and measured their flight distance. I mean, that's it's not, it's not a bad idea for a club. I mean, sh- there shouldn't be any real problem with it. I've definitely seen worse, stupider ideas for clubs get passed in anime. Oh yeah, this part I want to go back to where they all were just given their, uh, their, uh, ex- their just chatter. I don't even know what you even call it. I've always been interested in rockets in outer space. Now the school already has an astronomy club. Assembly rockets of solid pro- of solid propellant rockets. Umika are trying to go into space. You need a rocket for that, right? It doesn't help that they change at different points, too. But the primary goal is to observe the stars. Yeah, so we are different in that sense. Will be the key focus of our activities for the time being. And, and, and we all tried making bottle rockets... While they may be replicas, we are building real rockets. So we need to make one, and and Matataki said, in contrast, our goal is to research and develop. Uh, So parts like the frame and engine cost a significant amount. Now we want to make something more advanced. It was really hard to tell. Yeah, just, there's no way you could possibly fill that much in. But yeah, somebody was trying to make the point that we have an astronomy club, but that's a little bit different. You know, talking about... Uh, the, the money side of things over there with how expensive it is but uh, yeah just <laughs> that was a pretty good way to, to way to handle the idea of like yeah all four of them are trying to say their piece to sensei and justify the existence of the club and all that even though it was hard to keep track of if you want to like actually pay attention to all of it as far as getting the point across in a show don't tell sort of way it, it did a good job of that but we definitely convinced sensei to help us make it work She's just happy that, yeah, 
uh, that Umika has has something she wants to do, that she's making friends, enjoying her school life. She's happy that Matsutaki showed up, is showing up at all. Isn't it wants to be involved in school stuff, right? She's just really happy to, to make this to make this a reality. Although she wants to snazz your name for the club though, because it gets Dream Rockets just not not it. But she was so proud of that name. And also Umika's our president, because why not? It doesn't make sense though. I mean Again, it's not it's not it's a it's a fairly common anime trope that our most shy introvert kind of character that initially wants that's like initially wants to make things happen, you know, even though she's not doesn't have the confidence you'd usually associate with somebody in like a president kind of role. She she's everyone wants her to do it anyway because she is the one with the most um, you know, passion, motivation, whatever you want to call it. Right. I mean she is the main character of the show, so she kinda has to be the president. Although I guess Kaon did kind of break that because Yui is the closest thing to the to the main character of Kaon, but uh, Ritsu took it upon himself to be the president. <laughs> but but generally speaking, yeah, the, the main character will be the the, the president regardless of uh, personality fit fitting it. <laughs> but yeah, we have a, a club a school camp thing. <laughs> So, so that's fun. Matataki, not the biggest fan of it, but by the end of it, I'm sure she'll have a lot of fun. But, but yeah, the episode definitely doing a good job of showcasing the, the the character progress we have gotten from Umika, right? For we had the, the rockets, you know, she wasn't hiding behind anyone. We had her speaking up at the at the group activity thingy about page twenty one and all that, with a little bit of help from you, you know, a little bit of hand holding. So, all that's good to see. And just got to see all the various activities, including, I think, uh, Umika feeding you at a certain point. We had the bath scene, which was a lot of fun. Conveniently plays arms because, you know, can't can't show those bits on TV, I guess. But, yeah, we'll end up seeing how good of a president uh, Umika ends up being. But, luckily she was able to find you that snuck out at night. But... Some potential home signals from you, because yeah, I talked about it a little bit in the episode itself, but yeah, being a lot stranded on a strange planet, being able to make friends and everything makes it a lot better. But at the end of the day, you know, at nighttime when everything's quieted down, you just have to fall asleep. You're gonna you're gonna miss your home, right? Like I don't know what our planet is like, but I'm sure it was a fun place if it had someone like you there. But very nice thing we got between the two of them there. We got the hand holding, we got the blushing. We got the eventual forehead kissing. That's what I'm going to call it, by the way. They call it forehead tepathy or whatever. I'm just going to call it forehead kissing because that's really what it is. <laughs> Let's be honest. You even have like the very slow, dramatic, like, you know, dry in. I don't think I really realized the first time, but yeah, we didn't actually make forehead contact. We got really close, but we like got slightly interrupted right before we made contact. Again, partially why I think of it as a kiss because that's so in a romance anime. <laughs> Especially like a rom-com anime, that would happen. Two characters are about to kiss, they get so close, and then somebody interrupts them. So you can't tell me that's not forehead kissing. That's literally what it is. So makes a little bit more sense why we made sure to do one later on because yeah, we got interrupted in our initial kiss, so we had to make it happen later on during the fireworks scene. But yeah, and it was this one wasn't quite as slow and dramatic, but. We got it. We, we got the contact. We got the thanks. We got the eye closing, the blushing, as the fireworks just go off to almost to celebrate their little moment there. I was a little bit secret, you know, because like, I don't know, in Matataki, we're not looking at the time. But definitely reaffirming our goal to go to space together. So hopefully, hopefully we can make that a reality. I do enjoy just how clingy you is with Umika in general. Because Umika, you know, she's not the type to just, you know, randomly be clingy in public and all that. But you is, so she's the one that is able to make that happen. So I always enjoy watching that. Also, that bit at the very, very end, we, like, hold down Matataki. And it almost looks like we're going to do some forceful forehead kissing on Matataki. But, uh, but no, it was a fake out. F -f fake out. She just went to Umika instead. You know? I don't know why we were just messing with Matataki there, but... I guess just it's fun to mess with Matataki. You know, fair enough. What better reason do you need? But 
But yeah, it's a good episode. Definitely continue to enjoy the show. Matataki is a great addition, and I look forward to seeing what happens in the, the next one. So until then, bye-bye.